For nearly a decade, Blog Her has been helping women make money by just writing from home. This morning, the blogging network is announcing that from 2009 to 2013, it paid nearly 6,000 bloggers. $36 million. Blog Her connects them with readers and advertisers by publishing thousands of columns, reaching 100 million people each month. Lisa Stone is the co-founder and CEO. Good morning. Good morning. So in 1997, you quit your job in journalism. You went to Silicon Valley as a single mom with a one-year-old, and now this. How'd you get it started? You know, in 2005, my co-founders, Elisa Jury and I just wanted to answer the question, where are the women who blog? Mm -hmm. We didn't expect to start a company. But when we saw the sheer quality and size of the bloggers who came to us, we knew we had an opportunity. And now BlogHer is one of the largest online publishing networks for women. How do you make a profit? What we do is we work with advertisers who are interested in appearing alongside the blogs and social media influencers we work with. We have 3,000 blogs and 13,000 social media influencers covering everything from parenting to politics. This is the new women's web. Mm -hmm. And if you're working to promote a product, you need to be there for consumers. You were saying uh, in the commercial break that the, there are literally hundreds of people on a waiting list to try to get on to blog her. Thousands. Right? Thousands. Mm -hmm. How do you choose? who's going to be on blog her if you're a quality storyteller you take great digital photography you enjoy video blogging or you lead fun interesting social media conversations there's an opportunity if you're willing to uphold our quality guidelines right. to get paid to write and so, how much money can you realistically make well we have significant earners given that we paid out 36 million dollars to right. nearly 6,000 bloggers five six and seven figure earners the average earner in our network earns a couple hundred a month mm -hmm. and we find that about 50 percent of our community says they're helping invest that back into their business and 25 percent are buying groceries with it. <laughs> we know that women are a huge economic force 80 percent of consumer decisions made by women so mm -hmm. advertisers want to reach women and so mm -hmm. there are many women on, on looking at these. What are some of the most popular blogs? You know, they go from the light to the dark, Nora. Probably the best known blogger in our network today is the Pioneer Woman. Mm -hmm. She has her own Food Network show and yes. about seven New York Times bestsellers. But we also have bloggers who are covering stories and raising issues that women and men care enormously about, like Catherine Stone, who blogs the Postpartum Progress blog mm -hmm. about post-traumatic stress. Are there still gaps in the market out there, places you think the blogs could fill? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think some of the most exciting new coverage that women are doing is in everything from wearable technology and uh -huh. gadgetry around the home and in the workplace, but also issues like parenting for children with special needs. Mm -hmm. There's a blog called Squidalicious written by Shannon Rosa mm -hmm. that is really the Thinking Parents Guide to Autism and it's helping parents all over the United States. You know, if there's a, a, a mom or a woman who works from home who's thinking, wow, how could I do this? How could I blog and make money? How do they do it? They do it two ways. One is if you are willing to sign up to our quality guidelines, which mean that we need you to moderate the comments and have no hate and harassment in the comments, we will hire you to write columns, uh, take photography, record a video blog, or hold a social media conversation and pay you for that work. We also will give you a revenue share on advertising we run in your blog. This mm -hmm. was interesting. Four of the top 10 women on Fortune's 2013 list of the most powerful women in business are in tech. Yeah. And yet there's a perception in Silicon Valley that it's more male oriented. Well, there's no question that statistically there are more companies um, being funded by venture capitalists and uh, more boards led by men. But increasingly, it's possible for women to lead and start companies in Silicon Valley. The legacy of Meg Whitman and Carly Fiorina has thank given birth you. to Sheryl Sandberg, Marissa Meyer, and now a whole new generation of startups. Lisa Stone, thank you very much.